Okay, so I am back with another brand new legendary weapon review. This one for the redistributor. Um, where have I seen this before? How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay, so this weapon, the redistributor, actually isn't new at all. It's a weapon you get in the early stages of the campaign via a mission called the Impending Storm. But that variant you can see on screen now was only a rare. This new version is a legendary. Indeed, looking at the weapon, this new version is basically what seems to be a legendary version of the old rare variant. Now the reason of them basically bringing this back, I have no idea. I never actually used this rare variant, so can't give my opinion on that. But having used the legendary version, I can tell you, if that rare variant was anything like this, I know why it returned. It's actually a very, very good SMG. Now on screen now, you can see I have a few different variants thanks to my pal, Trolling Donkey, for sending these for review. So this redistributor, where is it obtained? Well guys, it seems this thing only drops within the takedown at Maliwan Raid, from Walton the Invincible, the boss. This weapon though it does seem is more popular than the other weapons Walton drops, so if you've played the raid a few times, you've probably seen this already. I can also confirm, although I only have incendiary and corrosive versions, it does drop offering other elements as well. Now out of the bunch I have, my favourite two are the ones you see equipped. Both differ but both are great within themselves, capable of fulfilling spots in anyone's loadout in my opinion. So what's special about this SMG? Well firstly, let's check out its stats. You can see that damage differs between a 330 and a 430, maybe going a little higher. Handling between 70 and 80%, reload time between a 2.4 and a 3.5 seconds, fire rate seems to be either 9.55 or 9.10 and mag size varies between 25 and 50. Normally the lower the damage, the higher the magazine sizes. The bonuses it offers can vary. Crit damage bonus can come between 10 and 21%, with also what seems to be a 33% weapon damage bonus. The 10% crit damage bonus is normally accompanied by this weapon damage bonus also. This also offers between 25% and 45% shield capacity too, which is great. And this thing is also highly effective versus shields. And it's special trick, every 7th shot is amped, amped shots chain to nearby enemies. So how well does this work and what extra damage does this amped shot do? Well under my testing it seems the amped shot does about 40% additional damage no matter the variant you use. And I was testing this on the test of moving Sanctuary. So what about the chaining damage? Well firstly I can confirm this 7th amp shot although it takes the place of the 7th bullet, it does not consume ammo. And although it was really hard to test, but you can tell by looking at the image on screen now, you can make out a few things. Firstly, hitting this guy right here, it chained the exact damage to the enemy on the left. This wasn't a crit hit though. Crit hits do more, but only chain body shots to nearby enemies. So hitting a crit won't chain another crit to another enemy. As you can see by this, this crit shot here chained a body shot to this nearby enemy. It also deals damage over time it seems, of the same damage amount or slightly less for about 4 to 6 ticks. As you can see on screen now, the initial target here I did 3268 damage to, a non crit shot by the way, and this chained to this guy right here, doing the same damage. And also got this guy on the right here, and as you can see, the 4 damage numbers of equal amounts. So how many can you chain per 1 7th amp shot? To do this I went to an old favourite spot, the Jabbers. I spawned in a few to test this. And the most it seems I could chain was between 3 and 5. While maintaining the damage it was doing and that tick damage. So what we have here guys is an amazing SMG. This thing does great great damage. Its rate of fire is absolutely amazing. It reloads relatively quick. It chains to nearby enemies. It comes in all elemental types. I mean it's a great great SMG it really is. Now I've said numerous times in the past I feel Maliwan SMGs are the best in the game. I ain't sure now after using this. The ease it allows you to control mobs of ads is incredible. Its DPS too is also incredible if focused on a single target. I do feel the lower magazine versions with a 10% crit hit bonus are the better variants in my opinion though as they just melt enemies a little quicker. But hey, depending on what you are looking for that could differ. But yes people, I understand why Gearbox now brought this weapon back and raised its rarity tier. 
It's a great, great SMG. A monster of an SMG. A must-get SMG, in my opinion. So yeah, guys, Walton is your man. Good luck if you're trying to get this. Man's reach exceeds his imagination. That, I believe, is a reference to the prestige. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.